Good morning and welcome to the February 7th, 2023 Be the Light Meditation. I give the date because <clears throat> the things that I say are related to uh, the movement right now with what we're bringing into the planet, what the next work is, what the next uh, thoughts are. So even if you go back a few months, um, the collective is moving along so quickly with unfolding this divine plan that it, it is quite amazing. So I want to start today's talk with knowing what you know and saying it in the world and speaking to people who can't quite believe what you're saying or don't really they don't understand it or they need through their position or who they are to appear smarter and so they kind of put the brakes on anything that you might say that would have a weight and a gravitas of of not righteousness but this is the truth and i recently it's interesting this woman asked her people to write essays and people who want other people to do things for free and then use it their publications usually there's there's a couple things happening number one they're going to use other people's expertise and put it in their shoot so that it'll bring people in of that vibration and they can get uh, uh the acclaim the stars, the acknowledgement. And in this case, the person's giving a little money. So then, then there's that little bait click thing. Bait click is, is a word used for people getting more bites on their work into the funnel. That's the word they use to get more money. So I fell for it. And I fell for it because, well, I liked her energy. I liked the colors. And, and then you start going deeper down this person's uh, uh, spiral of their reality. I love it. I chose the spirals today. And I realized we all have a certain need to not have someone else think that they're right. There's, there's something wrong about that. And so when I wrote, uh, the, the essay was, Go 50 years in the future. Well, I consider myself someone who has a little bit of ability to do that beyond maybe another person because I ran a group for an entire year, quantum future envisioning circles with really bright intuitive minds. And we were able to go and look and we could see the effect of our intentions on what we wanted to see versus not having made that first. So it was, it was kind of a research lab. It was a very powerful way for us to say, is there a possibility of something more joyful and benevolent coming down the pike for mankind? And then the question was, can I affect that? So it, it really became a, a, a personal and, and global crucible for some vibrational changes. So that gave me uh, some muscle in understanding and navigating the zero points and going and looking at the future with other people coming out, comparing and saying, what can we do today to make that change? So I wrote down what I see the changes are. And what I got back from this person was a little bit of how dare you? Shouldn't you say my beliefs or maybe this could be so? And I said, that is something that keeps light workers from knowing what they know, feeling safe to say it. I have to give a disclaimer for something that I've read about, learned about, studied, listened to all the new age thinkers, have connection with interdimensional thinkers. And I'd say, well, 
what am I getting reactive? I said, no, this is a good opportunity to tell her. Some people do know, and you must know. You must believe. You must have faith. And I even used the example. I said, what if you went to a church? Do you think the minister is going to stand in front and say, God is good? Well, of course, that's only my belief. And, you know, maybe it's not true, but it's only my belief. And or, or, or Jesus healed people. Well, of course, yet other people may not believe that. That's my, just my personal belief. And I told her. I said, visionaries, people who see and believe and have faith in something, they speak it and own it in a way with no disclaimers, no uh, apologies within it with words or energy. And that is change itself. That will magnetize other people. I said, other people who have a gut resonance is that truth will join and these tribes will begin to formulate and create coherent, sustainable principles to move people forward. I said, I own my role as a visionary, a seer to catalyze these changes with no disclaimers and no weakening. And I wanted to say, why do you need for me to do that? I did say that. I'm sure she's thinking, how dare this woman be so confident, so clear, and I am, and I claim it. And you know what? After a while of having people that I respect, who know and own and fumigate and create truth, who have much greater gifts than me, and I'm in alignment with them, and they are in alignment with my words, what I'm doing, I say, there is a higher orchestrated, etheric, interdimensional grid work here that is simply working through us. And I finally said that I'm a messenger and I listen and respond accordingly. And this is the system of change that I merely am activating. So She's written me back twice with little pushbacks. <laughs> and, and I write, this is how it's happening. And I said, but not only that, even if you don't think it's the truth or other people don't, by my going into high vibration and owning time and space as a creative being, no fears, when I say something, it is true. And it emanates a snowball effect for changes. So it's real and it's true. And that dumbing down of people saying, who do you think you are to think this, or you can do this, or this is the truth. Uh, -uh. That's what I'm here to change. If a woman, a person has an intuition, a body chill, that's truth coming through us, getting past our logical brain or comparing or co competitive, uh, like this woman having this essay contest of, well, I want people to say things I feel comfortable with so that I'm the creator being in this. This is, no, who does she think she is? We know who we are. We know the crown we wear. The crown is simply allowing and opening to the greater truths and fearlessly, fear, fiercely, maybe not fiercely, gently, calmly, without making anybody else wrong, we hold that truth, that unflappable truth. And I thought they captured it, this so beautiful, I think it was a Netflix series with The Chosen. And out of all those disciples who had wonderful, benevolent thoughts and behaviors and all the different people, there was one person who, when asked, are you really who we think you could be? He would say, yes. Yes. I do hold truth. I'm not going to defer, demure, contract, or change myself 
based on your realities and fears. But the warmth and the generosity of compassionate love, unconditional love, that he radiated, of, he was owning and accepting his divinity in his clear line with sources energy to create. And this being, of course, Jesus Christ Yeshua also said, this too you shall do and more. And this is the time where we have the consciousness, we have the energies coming in, we have the meditations, we have every tool in the world to understand that what he brought and Buddha brought and all the teachers who are free of human drama is ours to have here today. So yes, I'm not full of myself. I'm full of spirit. I'm full of listening and responding. And that brings out anger in other people because they haven't done the work. They haven't, everybody could do it. They just haven't done the work yet. And I'm not saying I do it all the time, but when I write about the divine plan and the steps and what's happening, that's, I said the only thing that changes that trajectory is human's resistance. I wanted to say, you're kind of being resistant to someone saying the truth, but it's fine. It's her learning path. It's her project. I'm sure I'm not going to win her financial prize. But the whole thing is really giving me some deep thought. Who am I to say something with no question? Who are you to own your truth and to hold that anchor with no fear and no question? You're a creator being. And again, I told her, it doesn't matter if you or someone else doesn't think it's true. It's my truth and it's coming through so strongly and this is how new waves of reality are made for mankind through the artists and the visionaries. Thank God. I should have asked her, what book should I go to that tells me what book of truth the man has written to tell me that I'm wrong? What patriarchal authority should I go to the church? Should I go to the American Medical Association? Should I go to one of these spiritual teachers, self-appointed gurus? Anyway, this is where we're at. You're a change maker. You're learning to speak the truth. If you come to these meditations, you're learning to embody and radiate the truth. So people might say, Maybe you should have a disclaimer that that's not actually true, but that's your beliefs because you are a little different and I don't feel comfortable with you. And I can't put your essay out because you need to say that you're just imagining this. <laughs> we are, we're imagining a new world and you have to ground it for a new world to come. You have to ground it in certainty. And I am certain that there are beings of light here, messengers on a team meeting each other, galvanizing new possibilities. And the interdimensional heavenly realms of communication are coming through us through our intuition. So that we have eyes to see and ears to hear for those that we're to co-create with. And as they come in, we create a wholeness like like jello, first it's real liquid and then it gets solid. As we find each other, we're creating a solidity of truth, a new trajectory. And that's it, we're co creating. No right or wrong, no saying it might be true, might not be true. So today's meditation is about we've worked a lot on clearing your communication systems so that your discernment and your ability to feel and know truth is clear and calming and reassuring because what is coming for earth is a celebration. It is a renewal. It is a revitalization of everything. 
and you will have such a sense of peace if you feel and own this and see it and speak it just the way Christ said it on Chosen. Yes, this is the truth. Other people say, I feel it. That is the truth. That is, that's God's truth. We've been waiting for someone to speak the truth. You are that person. You are that person that people are waiting for to say, yes, I work with higher forces. Yes. Actually, we could even say, my higher self is the one I've been waiting for to save and enlighten me. My higher self is an emissary of source. And you don't have to say, only Jesus Christ saved my life, or I only work with Buddha. It doesn't matter. You just, you, however you get there, there's all these ladders to the sky. But here we sit today, asking ourselves, have I done the work to be able to discern truth? And then there's an opportunity for me to share it. Do I hold back? Because someone else might be scared or say, that's not the truth. It's my truth. It's my truth through source. And it's just as good as anybody else's. I don't need any authority to check it out. Because when we speak the truth, it's inviolable. There's a word. You can't violate it. It just is. It just is. So there you go. So how are you at showing up, being full of spirit, source, the vibration, and speaking it? And this is the path of the feminine avatar, no matter intergenerational misogynistic patterns. We are sidestepping it and being and speaking the truth. So let's drop in. Take a deep breath through your nose and out through your mouth. We ask and intend to set a sacred space. We put a beautiful hole on of balance around our entire body. Only energies of the highest light may be in this space. We remove everyone else's energy. Everything. And we sense and feel our own consciousness, our soul, our beingness. And imagine that that resides around your heart area. So focus on your heart. No thoughts the man-made world of logic and words, posturing, doesn't stick in this area. Feeling into your heart. Feel the movement and see your inner eyes, the geometric movements, the toroidal dance-like, sparkling movements of the geometry of your consciousness. Feel and appreciate how pristine and perfectly connected to source this is. This fractalating, vacillating, beautiful, receptive, like silicon chip metaphor, receives the truth, the truth through you. So feel into this fully operationalized system of communion and strength. And feel that you never need to be separate again. This is fully connected, buttoned up, zipped up system. Take a nice deep breath through your nose and out through your mouth.
and imagine that this is your seat of authority. And because I understand through my life and other specifically women's lives, women who are meant to lead, that they have given their authority away. Their crowns have been sitting beside them. And they have been trained, constrained, and shamed into not wearing their crown of deservability, of presence, of an eminence, of divine radiation that the planet wants but pushes away simultaneously. So at a certain level, you might want to make a decision. Am I ready to claim that my communicative system with source is clear, trustworthy? I have refined it and protected it. And I allow myself to be guided in my life with words and images and colors and nudges and chills from source to know truth. Am I ready to sit in my chair of authority? And am I ready for the world? Can I allow myself to see myself and for the world to see me putting on my crown of authority? Am I done with the, who am I? Who are you not to do it? Ego is all about fear. If you're not wanting to do that, that's your ego controlling you. You're moving beyond ego into truth, alignment, sovereignty, and queendom. So imagine, am I ready for my coronation? No one else is going to put that crown on you. And it simply means that I myself use my crown chakra to receive light, vibrations, encodements, and information and guidance through my higher soul self straight up to source. It is an open channel that brings me something that is not available on this earth plane, the essence and sustenance of peace and self-trust. And of course you'll see things before other th people do or know things, what's yours to know. Of course, you're going to be a guiding light because we're here to help and love each other and come out of fear. So take a deep breath. And if you're ready, imagine that you can find that crown. Some of you may have it locked in a drawer, been shamed so strongly or grew up with a lot of sisters and you're Cinderella energetically. We all have our little stories. But if you are ready, man or woman, to claim your sovereignty as a divine being, you has a right and always had the right to be one with source and to speak this truth as it is given to you. Take a deep breath. Find your crown. Etherically, bring it right in front of your heart. Let's make a pledge. That the information that comes in bypasses our mind and goes straight to our heart. And then we catalog these bits, these particles, these widgets of absolute truth 
and they can assist and support us in articulating our specific mission so that when we know automatically if a person or someone or something comes in that is not for us so we can protect and hold our vibrational field in perfection, unpolluted. Take a deep breath through your nose and out through your mouth and imagine that this heart infused crown is coming up and just set it on your head. You know how it is. We graduate, we get a diploma. We think, am I ready? Did I really earn this? If you're here today or listening to this later on a recording, you are ready. Feel the weightiness, the responsibility, and the fact that you are seeing yourself as an authority of your life. No one else, their scripts, their patterns, their beliefs, you're living your life from your sovereign, higher, connected self with absolute truth. Take a deep breath. Some of you may say, but sometimes the truth is different. Well, it is. Because the whole harmonic whole changes. Mankind changes. What is absolute truth and to be shared today might be different next week when another war comes out. Some new trajectory and in fact, we're all co-creating the next steps of reality together. So based on the consensus belief systems, call it collective consciousness, of what is needed in this moment might be different than what is needed in two weeks. So you don't have to worry because what is coming through is perfect because it's moving the whole, articulating it, into a new harmonic pattern. A lot of people don't speak up. They say, I'm not smart enough. I don't know enough. But when you're letting spirit bring the words to you, and you know because you've refined your, refined your system for it to be trustworthy, you know that what is coming out is the right timing. It is precise, and it is perfect for those that are hearing it right in that moment to break their patterns, to upset things, to shift, bring new coloration, to create more space from the stuck rigid thoughts that man lives by. So just take a breath and feel into your body that there is this crowned authoritative being. You might have to rewrite your script about what true benevolent authority is. And take a deep breath and settle into this new essence, this new self ideation and form and beingness. And now put a beautiful golden resilient egg around the being that you are so that when other people behold and feel the shifts, That's their experience. And it doesn't seep in. And their confusion, their jealousy, their anger, or their adulation doesn't matter. We don't care. But you are balancing and rearticulating the new queendom within you. The queendom of heaven. Thy queendom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And that is exactly it. And then you do have it right. Just like that scripted being, which the collective consciousness all agrees it's okay for Jesus to say, yeah, actually, I am the Son of God. I am. And we can say, I am the daughter of God. I align with the truth to the highest degree of my ability. I claim what comes through is absolute truth and I allow this to shift 
and move into new creations. And just by the gravitas and the vibrational presence of my claiming it in my body and my voice with no fear makes it a catalyst for a snowball effect for change, which makes it true. So I've said it many different ways now, the same principle. You can affect change. Bring in the light, put it into your heart, and speak and share it in appropriate ways to be a pattern changer for the good of all. So blessings on this day, on this meditation, on this creation uh, that you have brought out from within me for what needs to be shared right in this moment. And I just had this idea that this woman uh, re requesting essays, I'll send her this, I'll send her, I'll tell her my deeper thoughts and how wonderful it is that she asked me to write an essay on how I see the future and then ask me to say, well, these are just my beliefs. And they are. And they're powerful. They're creative. Creative storms for good. <laughs> so that's it. I'm Jan Jorgensen at Be The Light Meditations every Wednesday morning, 9 a.m., always free. Share it with your friends and subscribe. Thank you.